Hello everybody, this is Kenji from Reachy Mahjong Central here with a brand new series. This is episode one of Reachy Mahjong Monthly. Okay, so welcome back. This is episode one. Um, you know, just trying out new things. We're gonna be covering a lot of Reachy Mahjong news, what's happening here in the US. Uh, maybe even other countries as well in Japan and Europe and all that stuff, but for the most part it's for us here in the US um, We have several stuff that we want to cover. This is episode and we're gonna add a bunch of new You know segments along as we go, but um, yeah, let's get it started Okay, so first off we wanted to cover some of the tournaments that's gonna happen in the US We have a couple that's coming up. First one is coming up in February, February 15th and the 16th, it's gonna be the Greater Cincinnati Ricci Open. Um, we mentioned this in one of our uh, previous videos. Um, if you haven't, you know, go ahead and check that out. But what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be semi-sponsoring the event. Um, so some of the products that we reviewed, um, we're gonna be sending those as prizes over to the Greater Cincinnati Ricci Open winners. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go and cover that as well. You know, if you're if you're watching this, if you haven't enrolled, if you're nearby, um, go ahead and check the description down below. All the info is there. Um, I think the deadline for the entry is coming up. It's the end of this month. It's going to be at the end. Um, it will end at 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, January 31st. Uh, registration fees for the event is $40. Um, there will be prizes. Um, there's gonna be food, I believe. The schedule's there, um, link down below, so go ahead and check that out. And we hope to see you guys there. Um, so aside from the Greater Cincinnati Ricci Open, the week after, there's gonna be another one. And this one is gonna be held in Seattle, hosted by the Seattle Ricci Mahjong Club. Um, it's gonna be held Saturday, February 22nd, and Sunday, February 23rd. It's going to be at the Seattle Center Armory, um, lot number three. Um, this one, the cost will be $80 for general public. And you know, if you're from the Seattle Ricci Mahjong Club, if you're within that group, it's going to be $70. Um, yeah, we're going to be there. We're going to go there too. So you know, hopefully we'll see you guys there as well. Um, there's going to be a lot of people participating in one of the Seattle ones in the past. Um, so this is going to be my second time. Um, it's going to be interesting. So both tournaments. Uh, they will be WRC rules, and um, you know if you haven't checked that out, if you haven't played with WRC rules before, um, you know, and if you're planning to participate in the tournament, now's the time to brush up. So um, there's a link in the description um, where you could follow the latest WRC rule set. Um, make sure you guys check that out, read it before you guys go. Um, yeah, pretty much. So see you guys there too. Okay, so that's tournament updates. Um, you know, it's gonna be a busy month. February is gonna be pretty busy. Um, some of the tournaments, the registration is gonna end by the end of this month. So if you're planning to go, if you're in the area, check it out, hurry up and do so. I booked my flight tickets already. Um, just have to tinker the final um, hotels and all that stuff, but you know, looking forward to it. Never been to those states. Um, aside from Seattle, I've been there before. But um, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Um, aside from that, you know, usually what we do, um, what we're planning to do at least, is to cover, for example, strategy tips, um, some of the books. There was a study group that um, we used to host, so that's going to come back um, with all the feedback that was provided from the uh, so-called beta testers that we had. So we're going to incorporate that starting from next month. Um, aside from that, um, if you guys don't know, there is this thing called Ryuosen, hosted by the Saiko Isen Pro Mahjong organization in Japan. Um, one of our reps from the US, uh, especially Nima from La Palme, he actually was invited to go as a player. So, um, you know, we were able to interview him. Here's the interview. Oh, yes, um, so we have Nima from La Palme visiting us here today. Um, I know you just came back from Japan, so welcome back. Um, Thank you. Why did you go? Okay, so um, <laughs> the main reason we went is for the the Liu Olsen. Uh, it's mm -hmm. a it's a pro am tournament held mm -hmm. by uh, Sai Poison every year. Mm -hmm. um, normally, you have to like go through uh, these qualification rounds um, that they have 
uh, throughout a period of like a few months, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you make it through three rounds of one of those, mm -hmm. then you get into the tournament. And this applies both to pros and amateurs. Oh, okay. Um, but since I am not in Japan and oh. I, I couldn't do any of those, they oh, offered oh. like a special invitation uh, to uh, to me to awesome. join from the main event. Hmm. Were there any other players from the U.S. or were you the only ones? I did not see any. Uh, I mean, the in the main event, there's probably a couple hundred players. I mm. didn't look at the whole list. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm guessing that I'm the only one. Impressive. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I don't know if it's impressive. They just invited me. I didn't I have to do anything. Oh, okay. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you do? How'd you do? Okay, so um, the main tournament was five rounds. Okay. And uh, in each round, you play a multiple Hanshan set uh, with people at the same table, right? So mm -hmm. um, the first day was three rounds of two Hanshan each, and the second day was two rounds of three Hanshan each. Okay. Um, so in the first Hanshan, uh, I got fourth in the first, and and then I got third in the second Hanshan, so I got eliminated right away. Ah, uh, yeah. I see, I yeah. see. Um, were you up against any pros or who, who were your opponents for those two rounds? So um, there's the their names are on the list because the mm -hmm. um, the matchup list is public. But uh, mm -hmm. I played against a pro from Saikoisen, uh, a younger pro from JPML, and mm -hmm. then another amateur, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So just to make sure that Ryuothin is open to everyone, right? All the pros, any pros available. Yes. Um, also amateurs as well. So yeah. Um, it, some like if you're like a big title holder or mm -hmm. like the um, or like other like famous pros, I guess mm -hmm. you you get um, seated into the main event. Mm -hmm. um, they also gave out other special invitations to people other than me as well. There were like eight mm -hmm. total. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But uh, yeah, if if you're if you don't have one of those um, seated spots, then you, you anyone can uh, get into the tournament through one of the qualification um, I see. events. Okay. Did you see any other you know so-called famous pros at your um, area? Yes. So um, because it's such a big event, there mm -hmm. it takes place in multiple um, venues. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, where I was at, I was at Shin Johnso. And um, it from um, the like second and third round, some of the like more famous pros got seated in. Uh, of mm -hmm. course, um, from the very beginning, we saw uh, Murakami Jun. He was uh, helping with the registration, uh, and also oh, okay. nice. yeah, also Dopo. He was there helping out too. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, current Saikoi uh, Sakamoto mm -hmm. Masashi. He, mm -hmm. he was he was there uh, like kind of. Um, like emceeing the event, kind of, I guess. Mm, I see. Yeah, um, but then as for like the players, uh, mm. I saw uh, Setokuma Naoki from Team Raiden. Mm, nice. Yeah, uh, Sono Daken, he was there. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see who else. Uh, I got a picture taken with uh, Ishibashi Nobuhiro. Oh, yeah, from, okay. from the Pirates. Yeah, that was mm. cool. A lot um, of M leaders. Yes, yes. Well, I mean, mm. I. I barely know anyone other than the M League. <laughs> I see, I see. It, it's hard. It's hard to keep up with pro mahjong mm. if you're not in Japan. Yeah, and that's the, true. Yeah, the M League is the easiest one for me to watch. So mm. I watch all of the M League games. Mm, yeah. Okay. So since you were playing up against several pros, um, and then you know, obviously you, you play on a regular basis here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. But did you feel any difference in how they play, or you know, is, is there any noticeable? Like gameplays that that you had that you experienced. Mm, I mean, I I think it still depends on the player because like there mm. are some some pros who, um, like, I don't, I don't really know how to say it, but oh, oh. it's not really like because they're a pro or because mm. they're an amateur. It's mm. it's more of just the person, right? Mm. Um, of course. Uh, the pros are expected to play with like uh, impeccable manners. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I, I noticed that when, um, like, when I was playing the Duosen and um, mm -hmm. and like in, at, at other parts of the trip, um, mm -hmm. like the pros, they they would play very like cleanly. Mm -hmm. 
Like not not with regards to their like play style, but just their their mannerisms. Mm, yeah. Okay. How about the amateurs? Like even though you know they're from Japan, so they might be playing a little more often, um, or maybe even a little longer than some of us here in the U.S. Um, did you notice any difference there? Uh, compared to the U.S. Yes. Like oh yeah, ab just absolutely. amateurs. Absolutely. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, yeah, e even the ones who. Uh, didn't have it, as much experience. They mm -hmm. still, they still played better. I think, mm, like, because okay. I, I did run into uh, one person um, mm. at the Embley Stadium, mm -hmm. and uh, this person, it was very easy to tell that they were still like kind of getting into like the more competitive side of the game, mm. but um, like they still played well. Okay. And, and like you don't really you don't really see that in the U.S. because it's, uh -huh. it's more casual here, right? Mm. And the M League Stadium's like a Kyogi Mahjong Dojo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. competitive and, Mahjong. Okay. And then of course, like most of the players I played against, um, they they had that like experience and mm. those those mannerisms. Okay. So like I go to the M League Stadium, I went to uh, Hyokodo, and mm. like the players there all had like good manners and they played well and it was it was really nice okay um so what did you guys do after the tournament okay so um the the following day on sunday um since i wasn't playing in the tournament we oh. we were invited to well the whole group was invited but since i wasn't oh. playing in the tournament anymore i got oh. to go as well oh. um i we went to the uh, m league studio where they like actually filmed the m league the actual m league yes Oh, yeah. I don't know if pe even people in Japan could experience that. That's kind of rare. That's a really special treat. Yeah, it, it, it was. Um, mm. Yeah, um, I guess um, like Lapome has all these Mahjong connections that they've been cultivating oh. for years, right? So, mm -hmm. um, uh, so they happen to know the like head ref for the mm -hmm. M League, mm -hmm. um, Cho-san. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. he, he invited us around, he gave us a tour of the studio. Nice. And I uh, saw the pictures. Um, yeah. Everybody <laughs> through the entrance and all that. So that seemed pretty cool. Yeah, we got to go um, to the actual, uh, the uh, like the, I, I I don't know what to call it. Like the mm. actual like um, stage, the stage where they, they oh, filmed okay. M League. With, with the, with the actual. Oh wow! Did you guys bump into any other M Leaguers at the studio? A lot. Yeah, we we saw all the ones that were there for that day. Like all okay. of the Drivens were there. Wow. Um, uh, all of the Sakura Knights were there. Mm. Um, Kurosawa and uh, Hagiwara from Raiden were there. Nice. Um, and the last team was Konami. Yeah, we saw uh, Maehara and Hisato. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the, the pose. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, the commentators for that day were Hiyoshi and Katsumata, so we saw them too. Mm, awesome. So that's man. That that's already just a day after yes. the tournament. Um, do you guys do anything else? Go anywhere else on that Sunday, or like for the rest of the trip? Yeah, for the rest of the trip. If there's any other memorable, um, you know, places or experiences that you guys were able to do. Yeah. So through. so on on the following day on Monday, mm -hmm. we were mm -hmm. invited to a study session at the Sai Poison Dojo. Mm. Yeah. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, it was hosted by a. Uh, Takakura Pro, who uh, okay. attended okay. the um, the Saikoisen tournament at Lapom last year. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, he hosted it, and then also uh, Dopo mm -hmm. and um, uh, Sakamoto Pro, who I, I mentioned earlier. They were both yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Awesome. You, well, um, let me ask you this. What was the topic? What did you guys cover or learn that day? So we just, um, we just did like a pro style review where oh. like four players play uh, a hand and then mm -hmm. four more players will watch and record um, their play like their discards right their hands and discards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then after that hand then everyone just goes over it mm -hmm. so um, yeah Sakamoto Pro uh, he led the discussion okay yeah um, what were some of the feedbacks that you got from that um it was like mostly just normal stuff, I guess. Like, oh, mm -hmm. like so you were. Uh, well, I mean, normal is relative, right? But, no. <laughs> but like, uh, 
one of the players got like to temp by really quick, so there's nothing really to say about that. Mm. And then um, uh, for one of the other players, the hand was really bad, so they, they were just kind of like moving forward like safely, like without like putting themselves in any danger, maybe trying to get to Tempai. Okay. Um, another player, they were in a similar situation, like their hand was like a little bit faster, but they had no Yaku, so it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, mo moving forward, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then um, uh, for me, it, my hand was like in the middle, so I was trying to uh, use reads to, to see which tiles I would be more likely to draw and uh, um, maybe get my hand to Tempai that way, but uh, like uh, it it didn't work out and I just ended up having to fold against the reaching, mm. so. I see, I see. Yeah. Well, it's pretty, pretty exciting. It's not every day that you get to do that. Um, so usually, I guess the pros do this on a regular basis, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and then this is exclusive um, for the pros. It's not like, you know, usual, Casual amateurs could go to the dojo and they would do this. Well, so it's it, like a special thing. It depends on the group, right? Um, mm -hmm. For I, I don't really know um, any specific study groups, but uh, I'm sure if like you know someone who's in a study group and like mm -hmm. you are serious about it, they they wouldn't mind having you around, you know? Okay. Yeah, because um, yeah, it it just depends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Um, anything else? Did you guys do anything else or go anywhere else? Uh, so then on Tuesday, the, that was the last day of the trip for me. Um, okay. We were invited again by Cho-san to visit the RTD lounge. The fancy, the fancy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it, it was like kind of small. They had like uh -huh. four tables, uh -huh. but uh -huh. yeah, it was really nice. So you guys played there too? Yeah, we played a few Hanshans, like more relaxed in, in mm -hmm. the private room. Oh, uh, okay. Got it. A any pros there too, giving you guys pointers, advice and stuff? Or uh, it was, was it just you guys? It was us and uh, Cho-san played with mm -hmm. us. Uh, mm -hmm. And then one other um, pro from Psychwaysen, I forgot mm -hmm. his name. Uh, I think he like worked there, I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure. But yeah, he, he played with us for a couple Hanchan too. Nice, nice. Oh, sounds like a pretty busy um, trip oh, yeah. for you guys. Yeah. Was it your first time in Japan? Yeah, it was my first time out first of time. the US actually. Okay, oh yeah. wow. Yeah, so I had to and get a passport to... and everything. <laughs> I see, I see. And you got to experience all these co cool stuff. Oh yeah, like mm. it's an unbelievable experience. Mm. If anything, um, what was the... What's something that you learned or you could take from this trip? What, what did you learn the most? What did I learn? Yeah. Mm. Or what can you um, incorporate what you got from Japan to your normal gameplay here in the US? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, mm. Like, it's difficult, right? Mm. Um, we, we did ask um, some of the pros, like, mm -hmm. uh, how do you get better? Like, when you're at a high mm -hmm. level, how do you get better? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, Sonoda, uh, he said, you have to make every decision, like, count, right? So mm -hmm. uh, he said, oh, well, like, I already, already do that. So, mm -hmm. but he said, like, it has to really, really count, like, mm -hmm. Uh, at like if you play at a Johnso, you like, play at a high rate. So like if you lose, you don't get to eat that night or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, can't do that here. <laughs> but <laughs> but he said just like make up your own punishments. Like uh, oh, okay. okay. Like if if you uh, if you lose this Hanchan, you gotta go home and not play anymore or something mm. like that, right? Uh, yeah, not play anymore for the rest of the day. So like if yeah. I go to La Pome, oh, and I drive an hour to get there, and then I play one Hanchan and I get fourth, like I gotta go. Sorry. Like, I see. I, see. I, I I don't think I'll do that, but oh. <laughs> like you gotta have that that kind of um that kind of weight on all of your decisions. Mm -hmm. And then um, yeah, Sakamoto Pro. He said mm -hmm. um, you have to have like uh, a group of players mm -hmm. who 
want to improve like that, right? You have to have a group of players around the same level. Yeah. You can all improve together. Uh, again, that's I, we have La Pome here, mm. but it, that's still kind of difficult in mm. in the U.S., right? There mm. there aren't as many players. There aren't mm. uh, as many opportunities to play. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that would be it. It's it's tough. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, welcome back. I'm sure you're going to be playing this weekend. Of course. Um, yeah. Um, so, any word for our viewers? Any advice? Any messages that you wanted to say? Um, I don't know. I can't. I can't really think of anything. <laughs> I didn't have anything prepared. Okay. Okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Well. Um, again, welcome back. Um, glad to hear that you enjoyed it. It sounds mm -hmm. like an amazing first trip outside of the U.S. Yeah. Um, I know there's a bunch of tournaments coming up. We hope to see you there. If not, um, you know, this is going to be a monthly show that we're going to be covering what's going on in the Ricci scene. Um, there's going to be some strategy stuff there too. So um, hopefully you'll be back on one day. And um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Oh yeah. Uh, there is one thing I want. Oh, to okay. Yeah. Like. Uh, I mean, like, this wouldn't have happened if it mm -hmm. weren't for, like, all the hard work uh, mm -hmm. that everyone at Lapone puts in, like, especially Junko, right? Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. She's the one who, like, cultivated all these uh, connections, mm -hmm. and, uh, like, because of Lapone uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the Sai Koi Sen and, uh, and Cho San, like, we were mm -hmm. able to do all these cool things in Japan, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm very grateful. Sweet. Um, so... Perks from be from uh, you know for for being in Los Angeles, I guess. <laughs> oh yeah, but I mean you got to work for it. Not everyone got, uh, not everyone got to go, and mm. I'm the only one who got to play in the duo sen. Like you gotta, it, like it's I, yes I'm here in LA, so mm. I got that opportunity. Mm. But like, you gotta prove yourself too. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's for sure. Well, um, well, one of these days we'll probably have Junko on here too, and maybe we could ask her how this could happen again. <laughs> round oh, yeah. two. I can't guarantee anything, but we'll we'll see what we could do. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you again, Nima. Um, enjoy the weekend. Keep on playing, and I'll see you next time. All right. Thank you for having me. All right. See ya. Bye. Hey. Um, we'd like to thank Nima once again for the interview. Um, you know, as a first time, uh, I guess traveling outside of the US, this is actually a pretty good experience, right? So pretty rare, um, so I'm glad that he was able to do that. Um, you know, welcome back once again, and hopefully we'll see him in a lot of the tournaments coming up in the US. Okay, um, so that about does it for this month's episode. It was a little short on contents, but we're gonna come back with more stuff coming um, starting from next month. Um, but yeah, at the end of the, the episodes every month, um, we'll do some giveaways. So what we'll do for this month is I have this little bracelet that I picked up um, at the PML meetup the other day. If you guys can take a look. It's a little bead bracelet. Can you guys see? Lighting's a little bad, but yeah, it's a nice gold little bracelet with has mahjong tiles on it. It has Tong, Nan, and the Nine Mod in here. Yeah, so this is a really nice bracelet. You know, if you guys want to take a look at their website, go ahead and do so. Link is in the description as always. Um, so this will go to one lucky winner. One lucky winner will get this. So all you gotta do is of course subscribe, like, share, uh, comment if you can. Let us know what you want us to do. If you want to see different types of com uh, content, segments, let us know. Um, if you want to be on the show, let us know. Um, if there's anything you want to cover, please let us know. Um, you know, it, it's an open show, so I'd like to see a lot of the people from the community participate. Um, yeah, pretty much. So, you know, hopefully you like the first episode. Um, next one will come back even stronger. Yeah, pretty much. So see you then.